there, Blue Nation. This is London Fan News bringing you the latest exciting updates. First things first, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Today's goal is 200 likes. Let's show everyone that Chelsea fans are the most engaged in the Premier League. Let's get started. Pre-season is always chaotic, isn't it? Some say it's just for players to regain their fitness, while others believe it's a glimpse into the upcoming season. But amidst all the debate, one thing is clear. Romeo Lavia is set to shine for Chelsea in the upcoming season. The Belgian, who joined from Southampton for 62.1 million euros, has played just 32 minutes in 50 weeks since his arrival. In the friendlies, our Chelsea showed flashes of quality, but also conceded 10 goals in three games. A 2-2 two, two draw with Wrexham, a 4-1 loss to Celtic, and another 4-2 defeat to Manchester City. Maresca has made it clear that his style will take some time to settle, but we're already looking ahead to the Premier League, which kicks off in two weeks. But in all this chaos, Lavia has been a highlight of the summer. Maresca experimented with various formations in pre-season, switching schemes mid-game. And Lavia shone in the double pivot when the defence was more solid with two central defenders. He started in the 3-0 win against Club America, playing alongside the new signing Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. Against Manchester City, Lavia was more than just a holding midfielder. He stood out in the midfield, creating two chances, winning six tackles, making four interceptions and two recoveries. And for those who doubted his physicality, he won 10 duels in total. Even under pressure, Lavia managed to launch long balls like the assist for Madueke in Chelsea's final goal. Maresca is still fine-tuning the system and trying to find the best midfield players. Fernandez was tested as a eight with mixed results. Caicedo is still adapting, but we know he has potential. Chelsea can rely on Lavia as a rock in the midfield. This 20-year-old has everything to be the cornerstone of our midfield, bringing the stability we need to go all out in the new season. So fans, are you excited? Let us know in the comments what you think of Lavia. Chelsea should pay £84 million and sign the defensive leader. Yes, folks, we're talking about none other than Barcelona star Ronaldo Araujo. In recent days, there's been a buzz in the media that Chelsea needs players who have proven their worth at the top of world football and can make an immediate impact. And that's where our target, Araujo, comes in. Araujo suffered an injury last month and is expected to miss the start of the season. This has led Barcelona to consider leaving him out of the squad at least until the first half of the season. Naturally, this has upset the player who is now open to leaving the club this summer. Barcelona is not making it easy and won't sell the 25-year-old star for less than £84.6 million. But if we believe reporter Iomi Stanley's words, Chelsea should shell out this amount. He told Ike's Football News, if Barcelona decides to sell the defender in the summer window, he would be a brilliant addition to the Chelsea team, especially now that Thiago Silva has left the club and returned to Brazilian football. Maresca is looking for players who have already shown what they are capable of at the top of football and will need the board's support to bring in these reinforcements. And let's face it, Araujo would be a sensational signing for Chelsea, significantly improving our defence. So folks, what do you think? Is it worth investing heavily in Araujo? Share your opinions in the comments. Let's talk about Victor Osimhen, who was once again left out by Antonio Conte in Napoli's pre-season friendly defeat to Genoa. Conte's team lost 2-0 at the Patini Stadium in Castel di Sangro on Saturday night. Meanwhile, Osimhen continues to train with Napoli, but hasn't participated in any of the preparation games this summer. Napoli officially kicks off the season next weekend against Modena in the Coppa Italia, and the Osimhen saga continues. Earlier this week, reports emerged that Chelsea and Napoli are in negotiations to sign Osimhen and Lukaku. Meanwhile, the Italian newspaper Il Mattino reported on Saturday that Conte made it clear to Napoli that Lukaku is his primary target. 
But here's the crux of the matter. Chelsea is demanding a fee of £29.8 million for the Belgian, who is not part of Enzo Maresca's plans for the next season. So, fans, what do you think about this potential swap? Is it worth bringing Osimhen on loan with an option to buy and seeing Lukaku return to Italy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Join our blue family and hit the bell icon to not miss any Chelsea updates. Come on, Chelsea.